We're we like, we're day. done with you. We're done you. with you. We're, we're you're care. over. This could have been the canceled. most perfect place of all time. You don't even know what you could have had. Steve and Nikki have been looking for a condo for goddamn forever. They need three bedrooms so that Steve can have a room for the office so he doesn't have to work in the living room. And Nikki would just like an outdoor area where she can quote unquote breathe air. It seems damn near impossible with their budget. A budget that could afford them a five bedroom, four bathroom in Texas, but no, they had to live in Los Angeles. Will they be able to do it? I don't freak, I don't know. No, they can't, no, they won't. Let's find out. Hello and welcome to the season finale of Kanohana's. It a only series took finale. A serious finale. And it, what a finale it is. It only took a year to get here. Holy shit. It was a you journey, know, when man, we started out, I really thought like, oh, this will be so great. Like in three months we'll have a house. Let me tell you, we've been Kanohana for a while. We I would call ourselves professional Kanohana's. Oh yeah, we at yeah, this point. We've seen them all. If you need some hunting. I mean, don't ask us because we were done with it. At one point, I really thought we were going to give so up. So you actually said that. You know, it's been a year since our first Kano on us. That's fun. A year and still no Kano. We are really bad hunters. We're just hunting right, you know? <laughs> We're hunting for the great white I, buffalo. Honestly, I stopped vlogging all the places that we were looking at because it stopped being cute. Because it went from being like, we're going to go buy a house to I don't think we're ever going to buy a house. We want the great white buffalo. We do want the great white, white buffalo. It's been really hard to find a place that's in our budget, has what we want, and that we both agree on. We're gonna just die in this apartment. Yeah. That's what I said. So like, it was more likely that we would just die in that apartment. Yeah. yeah. So the first place we went to, it was not in the in the neighborhood exactly that we wanted. It was kind of like on the outskirts of one of the neighborhoods that we really liked. Um, but it was an up-and-coming neighborhood. So this isn't the worst area we've looked at, it's just not our favorite area. The place might make it worth it. It's an up-and-coming neighborhood. Up-and-coming neighborhood. And, Once you step in, um, it's great. Okay, so wait, we just came in right here. And then, <laughs> get out of here. Okay, huge-ass kitchen, Casey Tuesday. And then look at, oh my gosh. It keeps going. Right. Holy shit. It had everything we were looking for. Yeah, we were really is, wanting that place. I it, it had three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, an outdoor space, which I really want and needed. I would, oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Wow. I would, um. Leave it in. Did you walk into the screen door? <laughs> no, I didn't. And this place had a bonus room, which was tight because you could, like, we could film videos there. We could do a lot of stuff with that. We could have a bar there. It could be a workout room over 1,600 square feet, which, pretty which was crazy for the price point that it was at, which was under yeah, our budget. Under our budget. Like, way under budget. I think that was the most attractive thing about yeah, it. Sure. The only thing I had about that place was that it wasn't in, like, the exact neighborhood that we wanted. <clears throat> no. The second place we saw was in a neighborhood that was a lot better, close to where we our apartment was, which our apartment is in a really good neighborhood. Just the apartment itself was not great. No amenities. Yes, no no amenities. Also, if you try to go into the courtyard to have your coffee and breathe air, you'll get an old lady yelling at you. Yeah, the old lady will, will email the apartment manager and then it, all hell will break loose. It's great. What I liked right away about this place was that there was this pool in the middle that was like a resort style pool. But then we get inside and it is so gaudy. It looked like a haunted mansion. Yeah. They put up like wallpaper and chandeliers and then the bathrooms were marble. Like it looked like it was decorated like an opulent huge mansion I would house, change everything. But it was place. tiny. Yeah. This is a choice. I like the high ceilings. Look at this outdoor area. I loved the patio. Oh. The outdoor area was awesome. You could definitely host parties there and have a good time outside. Dude, this is huge. Wow. No parking, which was not fun. Here's the kicker though. The thing that I really hated was that it was advertised as a three bedroom, two bathroom, but they had converted the third bedroom into a den. Wait, so this was three bedrooms though. So where's the third bedroom? Oh, this Maybe was this? Here. This was a bedroom. Oh. Right you can tell they opened it. Oh, I see. So it wasn't actually three bedrooms. Yeah. We would have to convert that room back into a room, yep. which would make the living room basically non-existent, but great neighborhood. And then on a different day, we looked at this place that was in a great neighborhood, like one of our top choices, like yeah. top choice neighborhood. It was on the third floor, it was a corner unit, 
which was awesome. It was really nicely lit. There was a pool, which you know, I'm a water baby. She's I water freaking baby. love the pool, okay? It's 1,500 square feet, but it was only two bedrooms. And the thing was, they had like this mm -hmm. huge, like huge, I'm talking a room size, walk-in closet in the living room. Two walk-in closets in the living room that could have made another room, basically. Yeah, so we were kind of saying like maybe we could make Maybe we could make that into another room for Steve's office. Maybe we could combine those two closets and make a separate room. But that would be, you know, work. It will, and, and it's insulting to and me personally. And it's not, it's not a cool looking office. Yeah. But I will say that I love the open concept yeah, that was in cool. there. That was I really cool. Liked that. It had updated appliances. The rooms were really big. I loved um, the bedroom closet. It had like, uh, it had like this like, area like a vanity area and then it had like all these closets that were around it only two bedrooms though yeah no yeah. i think i know what place i want to make an offer on i think i know too i think we should go make an offer okay we just put an offer on one of the places yeah we won't tell you which one it is but stay tuned to find out I after the it. after these commercials we picked house number one Ooh. or cut on one. We hunted it, we shot it, we got it, we killed it. We killed it, we cleaned it, we dressed it, and now we're eating and it. And now we're living in That's it. That's right. Inside its body. Here we are. So we've been living here for about six months now. So <laughs> they always really do that. Great. They do. <laughs> On house hunters, I'm always like, what the fuck? They've yeah. lived there for six, six months. months. It's like, huh? And they're all like, it's all decorated and everything. No, And they always have a house party with all their friends and family over. And everyone yeah. looks hair and makeup ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're definitely not. I totally gave up on yeah, this Yeah, no, look. we both did. We did uh, JK News this morning and we're like, we we're tired, okay? We painted we this painted place. We painted this thing. Oh, that was one thing I wanted to say was, yeah. um, I didn't like, this room was yellow. Yeah. Uh, when we first looked at this place, I didn't like the. I didn't it was like, like, the like a yellow. mustard, like a Dijon a yellow. Puke yellow. It was grape poop on yellow. Okay, sure. It was grape pooped on yellow. Exactly. We did it! We got a. We bought a house, house. dude. House! Woo! In your Happy New Year's ghetto glass. Oh, that's perfect pour. Good job. Cheers! Cheers, we bought a house. Yes, <laughs> we need this after buying a house. You Holy have no idea. Shit. Do you know that it was so much easier to sign a lifelong commitment to love you forever? Yeah, yeah. Than it was to sign a mortgage for 30 years. And much cheaper. Thank you so much for Thanks watching. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series. It was much longer than I anticipated it to be. Um, we laughed, we cried. You know what? It just shows that if you're patient and you don't settle, and even if you have high demands with a small budget, you could still find a place you really like. We love this we place. We fucking love this place. Yeah, and no I joke. cannot wait for you to see it when everything is out of We're going to do a whole tour of the house tour thing. We're going to tour. We're going to do some DIYs. It's going to be... You're going to see us painting the thing. Great. Couldn't do a Tasty Tuesday this week because the oven uh, <laughs> outlet does not work. That's one of the things about owning a place is you have to go fix that yourself. You don't have to go hire so, an electrician. How cool is that? Fix it. Very cool. That's Love it. it. But hey, okay. check out the new podcast. But yeah, check out our podcast. It's actually out every Thursday. Every Thursday, which might and be today. And leave a review that helps us out a lot. On Apple. On a five-star review it helps us out a lot. On iTunes. Subscribe so you don't miss any of this, and I will see you next time. <laughs>